students, fellow physicians, distinguished guests. Yes, I'm talking right behind you. Esteemed professionals. And do you really have to hold that triangle up every single time you do this? It's getting very, very perplexing. <coughs> Good evening. And welcome to tonight's miraculous and groundbreaking experiment. My name is Dr. Phineas P. Raymond III. I am the chief sadist, our surgeon, <laughs> here at the Frankensteinio Near and Science Academy. After years of meticulous research and wild experimentation, or was it wild research and meticulous experimentation? You won't even listen to me anymore. I feel that tonight's experiment will finally unlock the secrets of the human brain. <laughs> Enough about me. Who's ready for an operation? Let me hear you say, yeah! Yeah! yeah. All right, that was pure, I'll do you know it. I hope you know this. Let's try this one more time. Let me hear you say, yeah! Yeah! So tonight, as you dissect the various specimens on your plates, you'll witness me perform a rare and total brain transplant. Any calls? No. no. All right. Nurse, bring me the victim, uh, patient. <laughs> yes. 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 Yes, doctor. Nurse, the patient. Yes, doctor. Doctor, this one might be a little too crazy. Well, nurse, no one knows crazy like you. Yes, doctor. Patient, introduce yourself to our audience, please. <laughs> Archibald, everyone say hi, Archie. Hi, hi Archie. Archie. And Archie, how are you feeling today? <laughs> Your elbow hurts when you do this. <laughs> but don't do that. Oh, oh it didn't hurt. <laughs> Knock it off. <clears throat> Let's get started. Nurse, clap. Yes, doctor. That's crazy how time flies. It seems like just yesterday I was dissecting my first lonely little frog in biology class. Crazy. Cat. Oh, how I hated that cat. And Sparky, where? He never felt a thing. <laughs> I'm crazy, crazy for feeling so blue. From there, I went on to med school. I met my first brain, and I was in love. Excellent bone structure. And 
um, very nice posture. Yes, nurse's posture is very good, and he's very well proportioned, meaning that her legs, his legs, are the correct length for a man of his stature. Oh, doctor, you are so brilliant. Well, thank you, nurse, and you appear to be well proportioned too. Oh, why, thank you, doctor. It's nice to see someone around here who watches what they eat. I try, cutting back on the cut. Cards, you know. Well, I must say, it's working. You look fabulous. Oh, Doctor, you're so sweet. Hello! Can we get back to the patient, please? Yes, of course. I'm going to be blunt, Archie. It's your brain that worries me. What's the matter with it? Just about everything. But not to worry, my good man. The human body is my playground. I'll have you up and performing complex trigonometry in no time. Oh, my name is Dr. Finsby Raven. The third, the first, a little anatomy lesson, if you will. We can't just start the brain all willy nilly, though. So. Why not? Because the human brain is something you work up to. Why else do you think they put it on top of the body? Now, Nurse Faye, fetch my skeleton, please. Yes, Doctor. Ah, yes, and our guest doctor has arrived. And Doctor, where did you, uh, um, I seem to have a discoloration on the right side of your face. You may want to get that checked. Uh, students, feel free to join in with us. We shout out all the names of them bones. It'll be a fun lesson, I swear. <clears throat> and uh, is the uh, guest doctor ready then, Nurse? Yes, Doctor. Excellent. Then here we go. And the show. The show of the show. Here we go. Here we go.
be busy phoning up for our next patient, but we'll be back soon for another operation. Until then, thanks for eating your hearts out with us. And Archie, you're coming with us. Class